When you upload your data in Map Story, you will want to apply color and other styling to it. You can do this by either uploading a style layer descriptor file with your story layers, as well as styling your Map Story within the site in the full screen editing mode. When you upload a story layer, simply click Create Map Story. You can add any amount of styling and update your work as you wish, saving any updates as you go. Soon you will be able to style anyone's map story or copy a map story and create multiple versions. When you're creating a map story, you may want to mash them up with other map stories people have created. To do so, simply click the Add button and find the map stories you want to add in a list. Any layer you add can be styled along with the other layers. Simply click on the Edit button in the upper panel. You can add a title and description of each layer, and as you change the styling, the style will be simulated in the background so that you can know what you prefer before you save it. You can change the level of opacity and transparency, change how information and labels are displayed, choose when and under what conditions you want the styling displayed, and you can choose how you want your styling displayed depending on how far people are zoomed in or out. You can display your information normally as it changes, such as with changes in size and color, or cumulatively, such as in showing routes and growth. You can add any number of styles you want. Simply create a style sheet name and then add styles one by one. Click Add, then Edit. You should name the style and add any coloring you wish. You have all sorts of options of how to display the labels you can choose in what range you want it to be zoomed in or out when it's displayed. And if you want it to only be displayed in a certain range of years, you can add the parameters to the start and end dates. Or if you want to add chloropleth mapping, where you show change according to a change in statistics, you can choose under what values you want the information displayed and the range that is represented by a particular color. You may also wish to make your data stand out in other ways, showing the data changing shape or color as it appears. To do this, add the same layer more than once. In one layer you may wish to have it change its color or shape in a normal incremental mode, and the other one cumulatively so as elements appear, they stand out. When you're done, you can simply save everything and click play and see how it worked. You can tweak it as much as you need until you get it right. As Map Story develops, it will allow more and more functionality on the site itself. As you use Map Story, keep checking to see what kinds of features have been added since you last edited. In the meantime, if you want to do any special styling, you will need to do it separately. You will want to use a program that allows you to create a style layer descriptor file or SLD file. When you're done, you should save your SLD file and upload it along with your data. Along with adding and editing styling in the full screen editing mode, you can view and create annotations, which can show information and events in the map and on a timeline. Watch our next video on annotations to gain an understanding of how they work.